The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, the author of Mastering Probability, Steve Rhodes. Good morning from TFNN. Welcome to the November 19th, wonderful Wednesday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, per Steve Perseverance Rhodes. And, you know, I believe that we should always be pioneers of our future and never, ever be prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there had a terrific Tuesday. Let's make sure that you and I, that we do all that we can do to have a wonderful Wednesday. And we should always remember that life happens for us, not to us. And that is a beautiful thing because that means we can find a gift in every set of circumstances that this universe hands to us. And that is the way to live out there. Of course, I'm grateful for your presence here today. That means I would absolutely love to hear from you because I'm here to serve you. So our call number is 877-927-6648, internationally 727-445-1044. It is Wonderful Wednesday. This is TFNN. I'm Steve Rosen. Welcome to the show right now. Uh, futures market is flat out here. The Dow is up. Four points, no big deal out there. She's trading at 17.647. NASDAQ futures is flat, trading at 42.38. S&P is off one point, 2,047. No big deal out there. Russell 2000 off just a, a bit. So a flat market. We take a look at the uh, at the U.S. Uh, futures indices out here. <coughs> King dollar back seven pennies right now. Of course, what we have out here, not of course, but what we do have out here, we've got the euro trying to make a bit of a uh, move, continue its move off of the bottom. It has formed a bottom out there. The uh, pound also has formed a bottom. We'll take a look at the, that. So with both those moving higher, that puts some uh, weakness in the U.S. dollar. But uh, what it's fending off is that uh, big move, that continued move inside the Japanese yen. As it moves higher, the U.S. dollar index gets stronger out there. So that's why we're not seeing a ton of movement inside of the uh, pullback inside the U.S. dollar. Goldilocks up 80 cents right now. She's trading at 11.97. Uh, silver's up 10 pennies. She's trading at 16.28. Light sweet crude is up 22 cents, trading at 74.84. Natural gas, that's on the move this morning, up about nearly 4%. Up 16 cents, uh, trading out at about, uh, well, I've got the continuous, 4.40 out there. She's on its way uh, to the $5 area uh, for all of you. And that basically includes most of us, maybe except for folks on the uh, West Coast out there. Uh, very frigid. I, I saw some, but they were talking about what, Buffalo might get five to six feet of snow. It's only, what did I say? It's November 19th out here. That's pretty intense. That's some pretty intense uh, snow. So wherever you are, if you are cold, just stay warm. And, of course, we'll warm your hearts here at TFNM, and I'll do the best I can if you give me a call. Now, let's take a quick peek across the globe out here before we uh, start taking a look at things. Over in uh, Asia last night, a sea of red. We had the Nikkei down 55 points, three-tenths of a percent, not a big deal out there. The Hang Seng up 155 points. The uh, Shanghai down uh, about uh, about six points. Let's take a look at the Hang Seng, see if there's any any meaning behind that 155-point uh, move to the uh, downside. So as we take a look at the uh, Hang Seng, we take a look at uh, Hong Kong out here. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's not been participating in the party that we've been uh, throwing here. As it's moving back, let's take a look at what kind of retracement here off of its last set of uh, swing points, meaning if we go from the uh, low on the trading session of October 3rd to the high out here on November 17th, looks to me like the uh, Hang Seng ought to pull back to about 23, 233 out there. I wish I had volume. If I could, if I had volume, I'd be able to give you a little bit more info. But it looks like that's really the next stop for the uh, Hang Seng. Quick peek at the, uh, at the at DAX right now. It's up 50 points. Had a nice big day yesterday. Yesterday, continuing its move higher uh, inside of the uh, DAX. Let me see what kind of retracement level it has uh, done from its high from September 19th down to low on October 16th. Looks like the uh, DAX should be headed for its next target level of 95.62. You're at 95.06, so I wouldn't be surprised to at least see another 60 points out of that move. It's because it's between floors, the 0.618 and the 0.786 retracement level. Of course, you know we use this as a measuring.
measuring stick to help us identify where price is headed to. And you'd have to say 95.62 in the case of the uh, DAX. If we look at the uh, FTSE off nine points this morning, no big deal out here. This has just been the gradual uh, climb. This really is emulating our stock market better than anything else. Now that I've got the uh, tool actually working here today properly, we can go take a look at that retracement level. Now, in the case of the FTSE, she's very close to the 0.786 retracement. That number is 67.27. And so far, interest session high has been 67.18, so very close. Does it mean that price has to stop there? No, not at all. Just, uh, you know, that's a level. That would be a resting area maybe for a day or so. I expect that that will go a bit higher. No reversal signals or anything along those lines inside of the uh, FTSE, so no reason for it to not go visit the top of its uh, uh, swing point from September 4th out here, or, or at least into that swing point, 6904, 6866. That's going to be a target area for the FTSE. Of course, the FTSE was a little bit like the, uh, like the, um, the Russell 2000 that had been traveling in this huge consolidation, but it broke out of that. Looks like it pretty much uh, completed that measured move. So, you know, from that standpoint, that consolidation pattern would be... So and what I'm talking about, if you take a look at the uh, FTSE out here, I, I didn't notice that until just now. If we take a look at the uh, FTSE, you do the math for me, 6,435 points, the bottom of the consolidation, 68, 67. So what does that make? That makes it about a 400-point uh, move, right? So 6,400, we'll call it, uh, so 6,000. What did it get down to? It got down to 6,072. You know, when you break a consolidation pattern, one of the, uh, one of the patterns that I'll be... Uh, reviewing and teaching during during my upcoming uh, workshop this uh, Saturday morning. Uh, of course, that's just going to Saturday morning. Just going to be one of two workshops that I do, and then of course there's the seven weeks in between where I'll be doing the mentoring, coaching, hand holding, everything I can to assist people in what it is that we cover during that uh, workshop. Because I want to unleash the trader within each of you out there. And if we take a look at this pattern here, when you break a consolidation, basically it's a uh, the idea is that you're going to fall or 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 move. Move higher. You're going to fall or or uh, move higher. What uh, it's got, to, got to come up with some better terminology than that, for God's sakes. Um, anyways, you're going to fall or rise. Ugh. Hey, how about that? Uh, you know, basically equal to the consolidation pattern. So, in essence, that's really what the FTSE was doing as it was making its lows back on October the 16th out there. Now the FTSE ought to go run up to the top of that consolidation area, about the 68, 67 range. Okay, so let's go take a look at let's go take a look at what's going on inside the uh, currency market out here. I'll switch over, switch over to this uh, tool right here. So, if we take a look at the uh, now, I had some requests from some uh, some new subscribers to Mastering Probability out there, and thank you for your subscribership to each of you. Uh, but had some new new uh, questions out here uh, this morning. I really talked a bunch about the Euro Japanese Yen, and uh, so there were some email questions that came back, and. Uh, and so I thought maybe I'll try to cover that, too, during the uh, day today or during the, the, the day, during the morning session. But if we do take a look at the uh, euro out here, now the chart we're looking at has got a 15-minute delay, but not a big deal out here. The euro here forming a bottom, uh, you know, continuing to create what? Continuing to create higher lows as it does it. So it's just kind of like sneaking out the back door out here. It doesn't want doesn't to alert anybody or alarm anyone. But, of course, each of you know because of, what, uh, because of, our, of our analysis – of the uh, of the uh, commitment of traders data, the CFTC data provided each Friday, that the uh, large commercial traders, that's going to be big banks, that's going to be big, huge ships out there. They're saying the move higher in the U.S. dollar index, uh, that we're going to see a big fall. Uh, and when we do really see that uh, fall in the dollar, the only way that's going to happen is we're going to have to see the euro move higher, the pound move higher. I think the Japanese yen is kind of a loose cannon out here. Uh, and uh, that I think central banks have just decided, hey, let's let that go. Of course, the reason to let that go is uh, when we take a look at the uh, at the euro versus the Japanese yen, that currency pair out there, they, you know, I think it's kind of all being engineered out here to uh, to continue this move. So Because that just simply creates all kinds of great liquidity inside the uh, U at least for the US stock market out here. Now I really only compare it to the US stock market as that currency pair rises. So in the case here of the uh, euro that is uh you know if we take a look at levels where this thing is going to uh, move to well, the first target really becomes the level of its last swing point October 29th. And October 29th uh, the low of that session uh is um 
1.2627. So that's going to be its first target. Really what it wants to target is right back out here on October 15th. So that's going to be the 1.2886 level, which is quite a move from where we're at right now. If we go down and take a look at some 30-minute charts out here, we ought to do that. Uh, we ought, what we ought to be seeing here uh, inside any kind of change in trend, you can just go down to some shorter-term time frames, and you start to see A to B equals CD, A to B equals CD on the way up out here. And you start getting those patterns in place, and it's just, a, it's just another great indication of what's going on. If we take a look at the euro just as an example, uh, and, of course, this is going to be one of the featured uh, patterns because I'm going to be sharing with everybody all of the little nuances and tricks out there. You know, a lot of folks uh, that are, uh, um, you know, that I've, I've had some contact with over the uh, past a week or so since I announced the workshop. Folks, uh, you know, much like uh, I remember myself when I started off, consumed is, is one way I always like to say I like to immerse yourself in something. So I immersed myself inside of technical analysis. Uh, you know, in the early days when I used to listen to Tom, maybe some of you have done this too, you know, is um, I would listen to it on, of course, now today we've got HD TV out here, so that's pretty cool. But I would, uh, as callers would call in and ask what's going on about of stock, I would I would uh, put it on hold because I, I listen to the replay. I would put it on hold, go take a look at the stock, try to figure out what he might say, and uh, you know, and then just go from there. But the, here's the here's the here's the real key thing. If we take a look at the euro at this stage, euro US dollar, and I'll try to filter in some of the story along the way here. We can see the A to B equals CD pattern that completed uh, back here. This is coming off of the thirty minute chart. This is coming off of November seventh. The first A to B equals CD pattern completes here on November the fourteenth. Makes a retracement so. We've got another A to B equals CD pattern that is forming out here. That A point uh, down here on the trading session of uh, August the uh, fourth, August uh, uh, November fourteenth, out here at about eight thirty in the morning. Our B point out here is at uh, November sixteenth. At about 9.30, it looks like the C point formed down here November the 17th. 1 to 1, A to B equals CD. Inside the uh, euro, that ought to take us into about the 1.2621 level. I don't see anything at this stage here getting in the way of that taking place. So, again, we're watching for continued A to B equals CD patterns on the intraday charts out here, just simply using the 30-minute uh, uh, as a uh, as a decent time frame and tool uh, for that. As long as we continue to see that, that's going to give us the indication that the uh, change in trend has taken place. We see that change in trend taking place. That says that's going to put some weakness inside the U.S. dollar. If we do that, what's that going to do? Well, that's going to go ahead and put some strength inside of uh, gold and silver. If we take a look at the gold contract out here, uh, not a ton of movement yesterday, kind of taking the uh, day off for the most part. Uh, well, not really. Uh, we actually saw gold move a bit higher, didn't we? So if you take a look at that euro currency pair, we take a look at uh, the gold contract out here. It looks like a very similar chart. Right now, gold is headed to 1207. That's its point six one eight retracement off of the high from October 21st and the low from November 7th. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. 
Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Let's go. Uh, let's go finish up the uh, currency pairs out here. I mentioned the Great British Pound has uh, formed a bottom. Now, the Great British Pound is trying to form a bottom. Is really what I should say. Uh, it has uh, confirmed it's made a one to one A to B equal C D to the downside. That A point back on September nineteenth. Your B point back on October sixteenth. Uh, October sixth. My apology, a little retracement into uh, October 9th. And then uh, completing that one to one A to B equal C D to the downside back on uh, November fourteenth. Beautiful thing because it was a nice little hammer candle. Now, the low of that hammer candle was actually tested earlier uh, today. I believe the low was tested. Let's see, 1.5593 got down to 1.5590. Absolutely. So the low of the hammer candle was tested. It held this candle that's being formed here right now. Yeah, bullish engulfing, bull sash, bull separating line, you know, kind of all three here. You got to, when it comes to trading uh, futures and currency pairs that trade around the clock, the candlesticks are slightly adjusted out here. Nonetheless, so we've got two bullish candles really protecting the uh, bottom out here at 1.55 you see, the cool thing about uh, about the markets and about these charts that we take a look at is the bulls and the bears, they just simply can't hide. They leave us with uh, signals out there. So, you know, it, it, if I go back to, I remember when I went to the Master Trader Workshop, that uh, very first very first technical class I ever took, you know, was uh, was uh, with Tom O'Brien. It was it was a, it was an instant. You know how you make these decisions. You don't sit there on the fence all day. Should I or shouldn't I? You know, you know when it's right for you, and then you just simply take massive action. You you know you've done that your entire life. I've done that my entire life out there, and you just simply do it because there is no better dollar spent, no better investment 
than investing in yourself out there. So we all know that to be the case. So I went to that Master Trader course, and I was like, okay, this is stuff I need to know. So if you're that type of person, that's really what the uh, course is all about. Only if you fast forward, you know, Pablo Picasso, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong here. I believe he is credited with saying, I believe he did say, or somebody at least has, uh, has, has said that he said this. Uh, I think Pablo Picasso once said that, uh, that the good artists copy and great artists steal. I love that. Now, the reason why I love that is because when I immersed myself into technical analysis, um, you know, and I started off maybe like many, uh, many uh, folks out there, you've got each of you, no matter what level you're at, you've got to remember going back to your first chart, looking at this and saying, if you watch us on Tiger TV and HD, what the heck does this mean out here? I mean, what does this mean? And then, you know, we say, hey, let's take a look at the A to, the a to B equals CD tool out here. We'll take a look at uh, that just as an example back here off of the September 19th high inside the S&P 500. By the way, it's the S&P 500 chart we're looking at. Down to the low on October 2nd, then a retracement up here to the October 6th level. You know, it made a 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD out there. So that's cool. But, uh, you know, why did it not stop at the 1 to 1 level? Why didn't price stop at 1884? Why didn't it stop at 1859? Or why didn't it stop at 1820? You see, good artists copy, great artists steal. So what I did was I stole the ideas of many to put them all together to really be able to put this whole package together. That's what I'm really going to be, you know, what, what the workshop is about on Saturday, then for the seven weeks, then on uh, January 9th when we go back and we reconvene on the live series. You know, if you, for those of you that got an Apple phone, if you got an Android, there's a version of a Siri out there. And so Steve Osan is basically the live Siri where you got a question, you know, boom, you get to me and help you understand the See, What I did was I took the best of the best and found out what folks had overlooked, what they didn't put together out there. And that's really what, uh, you know, because I remember reading those books, just like you. You got to admit, you're reading those books and you're saying, but what does he really mean by this? Or what is that? Or how does this really work? Well, that's really what a workshop is all about. That's what a, uh, a seven week trading course is all about. It's being able to have access, in essence, yes, I'm not the author of, uh, of Time in the Trade. That's a good thing. I'm not the author of Steve Nissen's uh, Japanese Candlesticks. I'm not the uh, I am the author of The Road's Momentum Trading Signals, which we'll, we'll see. I'm not the author of. Uh, uh, Jay Wells, uh, Wilder's uh, Relative Strength I I Indice. But what I've been able to do is take all of these pieces, put them together, and see things that they didn't steal. You see, by stealing little pieces, uh, parts, from them, what I've done is I've put together a better set of tools, and that's really what the uh, workshop is all about. So, if you are interested in, if you're interested in having a live series, if you're interested in wanting to get right to the chase of, uh, you know, the importance of understanding that uh, this is a hammer candle down here. We talked about a hammer candle. This is the S and P 500. Uh, that's a hammer candle on October 15th. If you want to really understand when those hammer candles mean something, when you put those together with patterns, if we take a look at the A to B equals C D. That's in play right now inside the S&P 500, just so you understand where price is headed to. If you go down to the February 5th uh, low out here, all the way to this high that was uh, put in here, come on right there on October 19th, down to that low on October the um October the 15th, October the 16th. See, 2102, that's where the S&P is headed to. It'll get there very soon, but it's also headed to 2178. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank. Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Each and every time that the dollar ticks higher, S&P wants higher price. Each and every time that the dollar is ticking lower, guess what? S&P wants lower price. Dollar, the metals, and the S&P are going tick for tick. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com To the races. We got the dial up 24 points. Trade not at 17, 664. SP down four. Trade at 240, 2047. Composite up 12 points. She's trading at 4688. Russell down three. Trade at 1166. Dax up 36. Footsie down eight. Gold is off a buck. Silver up six pennies. Light sweet crude up 10 cents, leading the charge. The upside. AGOS Pharmaceuticals up 6% of five bucks. Uh, uh, master Rich Company, MAC, is a ticker symbol up six bucks out there. Jack in the box. Looks like it's popped to the upside, up 6%, up $4 and change. Target, Target, TGT, up about 5%, up $3 and change. Uh, Oplink Communications, up 13%, that's up 3 uh, Dish Network, up 270 Lowe's, up 250 uh, Amazon, up 240 PetSmart, up uh, 250 out here. To the downside, Tesla Motors, up uh, $7 and change. Uh, Synchronous Technology. Off about four fifty, Clovis Oncology off four bucks. VIP Shop Holdings uh, down a couple of bucks. A Bit Auto off a uh, about two bucks. Dollar General down a, a couple of bucks out there. Our call number again eight seven seven nine two seven. Whoa. How about that 6648 out there? <laughs> uh, you got to love it. Okay, uh, let's take a look at what should we take a look at out here? Um, that is, uh, well, hi, how about the, I, I know uh, I saw, I saw on the, uh, I saw on the, uh, the news that in Buffalo, 
they're, uh, they're, they may get about lake effects. No, I don't care what the lake effect or where it's coming from. But they're looking at maybe five to six feet of uh, snow out there. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty incredible. Uh, now, I don't know if you've ever had a chance to uh, go to Niagara Falls. I, I have many times. Lived in Detroit. And uh, I know what a beautiful thing. I've also uh, used to be in the business where I would put your face on somebody else's body, turn those into magazine covers, movie posters. Most people most people listening in have either bought one of my products or they've seen uh, one of my products by going past some of those tourist locations, whether we had stores in every casino every major theme park out there. I mean, all kinds of uh, tourist areas. So if you've ever been on vacation, for the most part, you've seen one. And one of the uh, one of the uh, partners, one of the businesses that I did business with was uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Makes sense, right? And uh, they used to have their headquarters was in Canada. They, they eventually moved it to Florida, uh, thank goodness. But I remember going up and visiting them one winter. And uh, it happened to be a winter when Niagara Falls was actually frozen which was actually one of the coolest uh, sights that I'd ever seen out there. You know, pretty pretty amazing, pretty powerful, those falls. So it's too early in the season for that, but uh, maybe this is a precursor to uh, things to come with these Arctic blasts out there. If, 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 you know, and if you, I would imagine there's all kinds of pictures online. Uh, there's got to be pictures online. There's pictures online for just about everything. So, But it's a very, very cool uh, site out there. In any event, let's get to these uh, markets out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, you know, markets are just selling off big time, aren't they? Uh, what do we want to pay attention to here with regard to the markets? I would say that the key level to be watching today is going to be inside the NASDAQ, inside the NQ. Now, I pointed this out yesterday. Right now, if we take a look at what the NQ has done, we can see some pretty significant resistance if you're watching us on Tiger TV. And if you are, you're doing it in HD. So that is a beautiful thing. If we take a look, this is the 120-minute chart, the two-hour chart for the NASDAQ. So far this morning, it's uh, gotten down to its market profile low, its support level. That's at 42.21. We can also see that as it made a high out here yesterday, uh, did that come into the close at 4 p.m., also created a little shooting star candle. It did it with less relative strength out there. And then we had a bearish engulfing candle to uh, follow up. So if ever there was a uh, bearish reversal signal uh, inside of the NQ on 120-minute time frame, this is it. You know, if you want to take a look at uh, different uh, lettering sequences, I can come up with a D, a fourth level, a, an F, a sixth level out there. So really, if you try to take all the different pieces and parts of all the great tools that we have here at uh, TFNN, just like I'll be doing during the workshop on uh, this Saturday, seven weeks after that, if you take a look at all the great reversal signal tools that are out here, well, you got to come in from the strongest indice, the, the uh, NASDAQ out here, on its two-hour time frame chart. Of course, we can see that the point of control, the light blue line out here, close Closer to the uh, resistance level it says that sellers really should be in control here, but yeah, they're going to have to bust through 4221. They're really also going to have to close below and bust through 4216 as we speak right now. That's a moving average line that has held as a support uh, ever since the market came off of the lows back on October the uh, 16th during that time frame. Once price got above that, came back and tested it back here at about 8 o'clock in the morning on the uh, 20th between 8 and uh, 10 a.m. Uh, and that level has been tested a couple different times. It was tested back here on October 30th. It was tested out here on uh, November the 4th. It was tested out here during November the 6th. This level is held all the way up. So I would have to say, and that's even though it's a lagging type indicator, it's a cool indicator because we know that this is the area where the uh, bulls have basically hung out. So if there's going to be a crack, if there's going to be a chink in the armor, I can tell you right now today there's really only one spot that, well, there's really more than one spot, but there's one spot that you easily need to look at, and that's going to be that uh, moving average line right now at 42.16 out there. We see a close below, and I'll have to say for two candle sessions, okay, not just one candle session, but a close below that. Then it says, okay, then the retracement that Stevie was looking for uh, could uh, come into play. But I, there are some signals that I got yesterday I shared exactly with subscribers this morning, those signals that say, you know what? Maybe yesterday was it. The extent of any retracement or move sideways, that could easily be over with. So uh, I'll be watching this. I want a day or two to watch how the market here plays out because there, there are some things to be cautious about. But the market's going to have to crack that line out there. Otherwise, it'll just can. Otherwise, Santa is saying, uh, hey, time to head to the uh, North Pole out here. So the Dow's off 28 points. Uh, again, just be focused and pay attention uh, there. Now, the Russell 2000 is kind of interesting. So the Russell 2000 is off eight points here this morning. So percentage-wise, 
Of course, I can switch over to this tab, and uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can even see my percentages on Tiger TV. Pretty cool. So if we take a look at what's leading the charge on the uh, way down, percentage wise, index wise, out here, it's going to be the Russell 2000 off seven tenths of a percent as we speak this morning. Now the interesting thing here is potentially nothing more than a real head fake. Now we're talking the kind of Michael Jordan move that will just leave you, you know, in in your shoes. But, uh, you know, he'll have already scored the basket. He will have just simply broken by you. Now, what I'm talking about when I refer to that is I'm really referring to your favorite currency pair in mind. That is the Euro-Japanese yen. And as we take a look at it, it's broken above uh, levels of resistance in a number of uh, cases out here. And uh, this says that it wants higher price. Well, it's really a sign of liquidity. When this currency pair is moving higher, it's a sign of liquidity. And so that Michael Jordan move is you got the Russell that's kind of moving lower out here. If this currency pair continues to move higher, that bodes well, quite frankly, for the Russell 2000. And uh, at some point in time, she will take off a topside out here. So the, the liquidity gauge inside the currency pair, it's absolutely saying not so fast out there. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, VIX index, let me see what it's doing here today. Uh, this is just one chart. Straight out of 1426, so it's also moving higher. Um, you know, the key level to be watching inside of uh, this is uh, 1507. That's your 50-day exponential moving average out there. If we see the market get above that, then what you can absolutely expect is some carnage. And there's reason to be cautious, a reason to be concerned, reason to still have a little bit of hope that there might be a, a market pullback out here. But there are some definite competing patterns that are just saying, you know, it could be brief. Could be brief, which I, I thought it was going to be brief anyways. But um, that liquidity gauge, that Euro Japanese yen, uh, it, you know, it's, that, that's just simply that is really just simply money that is flooding the uh, markets out here. Let's go take a look at some things that are moving and uh, grooving in the uh, marketplace. So I've given you really the parameters to keep an eye on for the uh, day. Let's go take a look at some things that are moving out here for our man Z in the uh, Tiger's Den. Let's go take a look at uh, Zillow out here. She's moving. The upside uh, up eight dollars and twenty cents, up nearly seven percent out here. I don't see any news behind the uh, reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's got a what the chief technology officer sold nine thousand shares. No big deal out there. He's just getting ready for Christmas out here. So if we take a look at uh, Zillow out here, Zillow made a nice one to one point six one eight A to B equals C D. The downside does that on uh, November the sixth. Uh, let's go take. Let's get rid of these patterns. Let's clean up our palette out here. And uh, let's go take a look at the uh, retracement. So see what it's doing out here uh, this morning. So if we take a look at uh, Zillow, we'll come from the swing point high, uh, which has volume. That says that Zillow wants to get up there. That's July 28th. We go down to the uh, low out here from November the 6th. It's up above the .382 retracement. It says that the 137.90 should be next on its target. The reality is this thing broke out. It's already back inside that portion of the range on the trading session of July 24. 7.7 .7 million shares. To the upside. It made a high out here on July 28th with 8.7 million shares. It's an untested, high volume, 52 week, maybe all time high for all I know inside Zillow. Yeah, it's the all time high for uh, Zillow out there. And uh, Zillow is headed for the 164.90 level. It's trading at 126.77 right now. So uh, looking at pretty good. Had a fairly decent sign of uh, strength, a little junior sign of strength on November the uh, 17th. So a couple of trading sessions ago, that had volume of uh, 4.4 million shares. So uh, Zillow up off of the uh, bottom. And if we can take out those highs out there, that high volume high, that'll set up one large A to B equals CD to the upside. At this stage, I would have to just say 164.90 becomes its uh, target and range. Ticker symbol Z out there. To the upside, also, we got Jack in the Box. Let's go take a look at that Jack in the Box. Can't remember the last time that I uh, I went to a Jack in the Box to uh, for some food. I'm sure it was at least one time in my life, but uh, I just don't know. But anyway, let's go take a look at it. Gapping up here this morning. Decent volume behind the move. 300 and, uh, 20, 330,000 shares as we speak right now. It's at all time. I believe it may also be at all time. What is with these restaurants out here? 
Yeah, it's a uh, it's an IPO. Uh, well, no, it's not. Okay, it just took a while for my system. Let me put this back on a, a weekly time frame out here, monthly time frame. Let's do that. Let me put on the monthly time frame. I think this may be an all time high out there. Yeah, most certainly is. How about that? Yeah, no IPO because I got data that goes back to 1999 out here. So Jack in the box. Let's put this back to the daily time frame. Go see what it is uh, doing out here. Jack in the box. Uh, Gapping up a little bit off of its session high for sure because uh, intraday it's gotten up to a high of 77.58. Right now trading out at 75.18. It's a, you know, we'll watch it. Let's really see what happens here tomorrow. You know, you gap up like this. Always the threat there were to be any kind of market self. Always a threat out here at all-time highs where it could form an island reversal top. Not saying that's going to. Absolutely not saying that it's going to do that. Just saying that it's something worth uh, noting out here. It had a nice sign of strength back here on August the 7th. A couple million shares the upside. I'm not seeing any real signs of any kind of weakness that I can see on the stock chart here for uh, Jack in the box. And really, Jack is out of the box when you take a look at this uh, stock chart. So uh, let's go see what else we have that's uh, moving here. To the upside, you've got uh, Receptos, Inc., R E C R C P T is the ticker symbol. Every time I take a look at that, for some reason I think of Mentos, but the Receptos don't know what they do, but the stock is up 6%. Now, this thing had wide price spread, accelerated volume, big time on October 28th, 4.2 million shares to the upside. Big, huge uh, gap out there. That should act. And it's got a couple of gaps, not a... Hmm, not a three-gap play. It's been a, uh, t well, actually it was a three-gap play. How about that? Three-gap play. Uh, the reason I say that is because your first gap out here, that took place on uh, December the uh, 5th. Your second gap, that took place out here on June the 10th. And as you know, with a three-gap play, gap number three has to be greater than uh, in uh, dollars and percentage, e either or, but the dollar and percentage of uh, both uh, in order for it to be a three-gap play. But uh, it looks like it's saying, I don't care what your three gap play your tim or three gap play is all about i'm moving to a higher price out here and that is a ticker symbol rcpt you know if we go back uh yesterday had a a nice call from don from odessa florida just another example of uh, don called in and i appreciate that very much appreciate each of you guys girls lads fellas anybody who calls into the show out here always great to uh, speak to our listener base and uh, and hear what it is that uh, that folks have to say. Don had called in by and take he was taking a look at a, a pattern that was uh, setting up here, a potential Gartley buy pattern. Now, remember what I've done here, what I've done throughout as I immerse myself into things, which I love to do. You know, you love to do that as well. And as I said, just really kind of taking a little Picasso, uh, you know, where you you either you can either just copy copy great artists out there you know i mean uh, you can you, you can do that um you know but what you really want to do and what i expect that those folks that uh, have attended my workshops in the past you know who you are those who will be attending the, this workshop here that what you're really going to do is you're not going to copy what i do you're going to steal that which i give to you when i say steal you're going to go ahead and immerse yourself into this just as i did you're going to find out some of the things that i too was missing and that's what it's all about if you just copy what an artist does all you're going to do is maybe just simply get the, their results out there but great artists what they do is they put all these different pieces together and that's what uh, that's what i've been able to do through immersion now if you don't want to go through that entire process then the workshop is the place to go because i just give it all to you because i just simply hey if i'm going to do it i'm going to do it now in the case of uh, uh what we were looking at here was a gartley uh, sell pattern and i said not so fast and the reason i said not so fast is because there was no sell signal there was a pattern that was forming but just because a pattern forms, that does not mean that that you, means you jump on and take that trade. That's with regard to retracement levels, expansion levels, uh, Fibonacci's, of uh, A to B equals CD. There's a whole art to it, and I'm going to teach you that art. In this case here, absolutely no sell signal inside of the GDX. That's a chart that's on my screen. GDX at least going to the .786 retracement area. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. Look right now.
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. When you first learn something in life, you have the most questions as you begin to apply that knowledge, which is why Steve Rhodes came up with the idea for his seven-week trading program. It all begins Saturday, November 22nd, when Steve Rhodes will host a live three-hour morning workshop where he'll teach his attendees the precise methodology he uses when placing trades. You'll then receive six weekly updates each Monday morning discussing the possible alerts currently setting up in the market. Steve will then bring everyone back together for a final three-hour live workshop Friday, January 9th, where he'll discuss the methodology that went into each of the six weekly updates, making sure that you're confident in applying what you've learned so that you can begin navigating the market on your own. You can sign up right now for this entire seven-week trading program with Steve Rhodes for a one-time payment of only $395. If you're a Mastering Probability subscriber, then you can save an extra $100 off that price. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Steve Rhodes as he teaches techniques on technical analysis using headed recognition, celestial charting, Fibonacci, and other tools. The Trader's Edge, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off 29, S&P down 5, composite off 22 points here. So uh, let me give you the summation as to uh, where we're at, what to be paying attention to in the uh, markets today. And this is really, this will help you to identify, okay, are the markets ready to uh, shift to a short-term change in trend and maybe go down into uh, next uh, Friday. It was really this Friday that I was looking for, but that's uh, that's being uh, pushed off for sure. And the levels that we want, so just to just to restate again, if we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ, I'm looking at the 120-minute chart, you're going to need to see it close below 42.16. 
as we uh, look at it right now. You'll need to see it close for a couple hours before then. Uh, oh, uh, a couple of uh, a couple of closes below that. That this bar that I'm looking at right now is a ten o'clock bar. If in fact price could push down and get below that, you at least lead to you need to, lead to you at least need to see that lasting until noon. I would have to say till really two p.m. out there. So that's the first level to take a look at inside of the ES Mini. Uh, if I look at the 120-minute time frame chart for the ES Mini out here, the uh, number is going to be 2039.25. How about that for trying to get exact out there? You get uh, close below 2039.25 in combination with the NASDAQ uh, below the number that I gave to you. Both of those will be signaling, okay, um, you know, it's time for a, a bit of a uh, pullback here. And that's where we're looking at a retracement. Then, as a third element, what are you going to need? Well, the third element that you really want to pay attention to where it can start to get uh, really uh, problematic is that the VIX index. So the number you want to be watching today, 1507. You're at 1414. Pretty sure at 1507, you get uh, pretty close. Well, let's see, 14 buck 40. Uh, no, that really wouldn't be it. It's about 15.57 or so, right around there, where you get to a 10% one-day rate of change. But you get about 15.07. No, I don't mean 15.08. But you get about 15.07. That's when you can start to say, okay, now we got some liquidity issues out here, and that all be fighting against that Euro Japanese yen. So you got to keep at least one eye on the Euro Japanese yen and the other eye on uh, on these uh, charts here that I'm giving you. Now, the reason why I say we want to be paying close attention to that, as we speak right now, if I go take a look and see where we're at inside the New York stock exchange and we take a look at uh, net declining issues because we certainly have declining issues we've got to have a few of them we got 906 so 906 I believe yeah 906 gets us into the uh, price oscillator getting below zero so let's go check check that out here so here if you watch us on Tiger TV uh, it's cool that I can do this in HD the uh, left hand uh, portion of my chart happens to be the New York Stock Exchange the center portion is the NASDAQ composite the right hand side is the uh, Dow out here so you've got on the left hand side the New York Stock Exchange as we speak right now now it, it, it takes less than 906 but 906 net de declining issues gets our price oscillator down below the zero line. When you get down below the zero line, it tells you that a change in trend is underway. The NASDAQ composite rejected that level yesterday. It's back below as we speak right now. So the composite, we haven't seen much in the way of price damage out here. But uh, these are signals, early signals, early warning signals of changes in trend. In the case of the Dow, she's not there just yet. So the Dow's been pretty strong. But we get all three across the board out here confirming that. Then that says, okay, then that retracement that we'd be looking for would be underway. If at the end of the day, Price just visited down there. It was just on a, a quick excursion, maybe to uh, you know some some friends that you felt obligated you had to go to, but you decided they were just there for a short period of time. You're just making an appearance. You can consider the summation index today to have only made an appearance if it can get back above that uh, zero level. So those are the things that uh, I would suggest that you uh, pay attention to. Other than that, folks, it is wonderful Wednesday. Stay warm. If you are any place where it's cold, that covers uh, most of the United States out there. As always, been great to be with you. Stay tuned. The second hour of the Trader's Edge will be up next. Don't forget, get over to that homepage at TFNN.com. Join me this coming Saturday for that seven-week workshop. It'll be unlike anything that you've ever attended. Take care, folks. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today.
You're watching Tiger TV.